Three young boys take turns on the body of a famous and beautiful actress in the morgue, unaware that she is not completely dead. As she is being transferred to the hospital's cold room, we hear a newscast stating about her life and her death. Anna Fritz is a famous and beautiful actress who all boys had crush on her. She is dead at some kind of private party in the bathroom due to an unknown reason. A young boy named Pau works in the cold room of the same hospital. Pau takes Anna's body to the cold house and removes the bedclothes, then takes a picture and sending it to one his friends. Evan and Javi, Pau's friends, come to the hospital and also have heard the news about Anna's death. At first they jokingly say they are there for the dead body, but then tell him that they are going to a party and they want Pau to go with them. But he says that he has a shift until 12 o'clock and has to stay at the hospital. Ivan tells them that there is about an hour left until 12. They will wait for Pau to finish his work. Then the three of them go to the area behind the hospital to drink and hit some white stuff. Then Pau suddenly remembers that Anna Fritz just died and her body is there now. Pau is asked about the body and he says that it is in the cold room and the autopsy is going to be done tomorrow. Ivan and Javi ask ask him to take them to the cold house to see Anna Fritz. Pau does not accept at first, but by insistence of his friends, he is forced to do this. The part where the corpses are kept is in the basement. They sneak their way down there in the morgue. When they enter the morgue, Javi is scared when he sees the corpses. He wants to go out when Ivan and Pau calm him down. And finally they get close to the body and remove the bedsheet. Ivan starts touching the body and forces Javi to do the same. Javi who is scared from the beginning, decides to call it off and to leave the place. But Ivan doesn't accept and wants to intimate with the body before suing some more lines. After this, Ivan, who was in Saul's of Anna's naked body, suggests that everyone should have their moment with the complete naked body in front of them and must take advantage of this opportunity. Javi, who disagrees with the whole story, still tries to convince them to leave, the argument between them escalates, and Pau is asked if he has ever done something like this before, and Pau answers that there was once with someone who was very tempting and he was unable to stop himself. Ivan asks what about Anna Fritz? Javi also jokingly confesses that he probably wants to do this after they leave. Ivan, who did not want to miss this opportunity, says that he wants to have a relationship with Anna Fritz and Pau who doesn't mind this job himself, calms Javi down and takes him inside another room, and Ivan gets busy with the body. Javi, who is scared and shocked by the action of his friends, and can't believe they do something like this to a dead person. A few minutes later, Ivan finishes his work, then it's Pau's turn, Javi and Ivan stay in the room while Pau is having at it, to the other room while Pau is enjoying himself. Anna Fritz's eyes suddenly open. At first, Pau doesn't notice at all, but when he realizes that she is alive he screams and falls down from the bed. Chavi and Ivan come to see what happened and they encounter this strange and scary scene. Anna Fritz had opened her eyes and is looking at them. Javi is the first person who approaches her and tries to calm her down, but Pau and Ivan couldn't even move out of fear. Javi goes to get her a glass of water and tells his friends that they should take her upstairs to the doctor, while Javi goes to get clothes for Anna to cover her. Ivan asks Pau if she saw and found found out what they were doing to her? Pau is sure that she knows everything. Javi comes to dress her up and to take her upstairs, but Ivan turns against him and confronts him to think what they have done to her. They all will get into trouble if they let her go. After this, they are discussing their next move on how to get out of this mess. Then footstep is heard coming to the room. Javi wants to stay and will explain the situation to the person who is coming, but Ivan takes him away, they turn off the lights and hide. A nurse comes in with a body and puts it there. Poor Anna tries to call for help but because her body has been completely motionless for several hours, she can't even make a sound or move the slightest. She tries her best and is able to pull the bedclothes to reveal her face, but it was too late and the nurse turned off the lights and is left. Javi who is panicked quickly comes to Anna to help her again, but Ivan stops him again and wants to talk to them privately. He tells them that Anna is fully aware what they were doing to her, and if she survives she will definitely tell the police, and their case will be the headline of newspaper and TV, and they will be miserable. Plus, Plus, all people now think that Anna Fritz is dead anyway, and suggest that it will be better to kill her. But Javi refuses and says that he doesn't care what happens to Pau and Ivan. He wants to take Anna upstairs, but Ivan stops him. Anna, who is able to speak little by little, begs them not to kill her and take her upstairs and she promises not to tell anyone about any of this. Javi goes to open the door but realizes that the nurse has locked the door and left. Pau looks in his pocket for the key, but has left the keys upstairs. At the same moment, Ivan and Javi get into 
a fight and Ivan pushes Javi and throws him to the ground. Then he punches him hard in the face. Pao comes and pulls Ivan back, but they see that Javi's head is bleeding and he may die. Pao comes over to see that he is breathing, but because he has lost a lot of blood he becomes weaker in every second. They put a cloth behind his head to stop bleeding, and Ivan comes to apologize, they pull Javi into the room. Later, Ivan suggests that they should take Anna to the other room so that Pao must be able to tell one of his colleagues to come and open the door. Then two of them clean the blood on the floor and Pao calls his colleague. When his colleague shows up, Anna again tries to scream for help but Ivan quickly covers her mouth. Even though, Pao's colleague hears some noise and gets suspicious, but Pao goes to manage the situation, claiming that the night shift nurse has locked the door unaware of his presence in the room, and now he is trapped. And he is succeed to convince his colleague that everything is normal and they turn off the lights and get out. Ivan sees that Javi does not move and when he gets closer he notices that Javi is not breathing and he is out. He tries everything to wake him up, but it's too late. Pao comes back while Ivan, who is in shock and is smoking, tells him that Javi is gone. First, they argue, then decide to take Javi's body out and bury it. Anna also asks them to help her and take her up and promises that she won't tell anyone. Pao also feels sorry for poor Anna but Ivan quickly takes Pao out and tells him that she knows everything, and she has also seen they killed Javi so they have to get rid of her but Pao thinks otherwise and says that he had nothing with killing Javi. Then Ivan convinces him that both of them are now involved in this mess, so it's better to find a way to get Javi's body out, and then they will find a solution about Anna. While they are arguing, Anna forces herself down the bed and takes Javi's cell phone to call someone for help. Ivan and Pao come inside the room and find Anna talking on the phone. Ivan quickly snatches the phone from her and notices that she has called a number. Anna says that she called her father and told him everything. His father will arrive soon, so it is better to take her upstairs before their troubles get more intense. Ivan and Pao realize that there is nothing they can do, so they decide to do the same thing as Anna suggested. As soon as they enter the hallway to get to the elevator, the cell phone that was in Ivan's hand rings. As soon as Ivan answers the phone, Anna shouts and asks for help from the person behind the line, but Pao stops her. While talking to the person on the phone, Ivan realizes realizes that Anna has lied to them and has not contacted her father. Therefore, they give up on their decision and return Anna back to the cold house. Ivan is angry and threatens Anna. He tells Pao that he will go to get the trash can, and Pao should tie Anna up and clean the room as well. While Pao is tying Anna's hands and feet, Anna talks to him to convince him to help her. Anna says that she saw Ivan strangle and killed Javi on purpose, and says that if he takes her upstairs, she will not say anything about him, instead Ivan is the one who will be accused. But Pao cannot trust her and continues his work, and then who will be accused, and then goes to clean the room. Ivan stalks somewhere outside to get the bucket from the back of the hospital where two nurses come to smoke. At the same time, when Pao is cleaning the room, Anna unties herself but she could not walk on her feet and ran away crawling. Ivan turns and notices Anna is not there. He angrily goes inside the room and calls Pao to find her. They start searching everywhere in the basement. Poor Anna forces herself to the elevator and hits the button to go up. When the elevator door was closing, suddenly a hand sticks in and stops stops the door closing, and it is Ivan. Then he drags Anna back to the morgue. When Pao sees Ivan, he asks him about Javi, if he killed him on purpose. Ivan understands that Anna told him these things and wanted to start a fight between them. He talks to Pao and tells him that they need to get rid of Anna as soon as possible. They see that the best way is to suffocate her. Pao brings a sheet to do so. At first they hesitate then finally they decide to do it together and they kill Anna again. They also throw Javi's body inside the bucket, and Ivan takes it out and throws it on the side of the highway. Pao Pao cleans Anna's body and removes her bedclothes and puts it back. He gathers his things to go out, then hears the sound of coughing and is sure that Anna is still alive, and she is not willing to give up on this world. Pao goes to her and pulls the bedsheet aside and tells her to pretend to be dead, so that they can get out of there so she could be safe from Ivan. Pao tells her that she has to wait there tonight until he come to get her tomorrow. At the same moment, Ivan returns and Pao quickly covers her, and tells Ivan that everything is alright, and that they should get out of there immediately. Ivan checks around to to make sure there are no belongings left behind then the two of them leave. They are waiting for the elevator to get out, when Ivan realizes that his card has been left in the cold room, and Pao tries to dissuade him to turn him around and tells him that he will get it for him tomorrow, but Ivan does not accept and returns for his card. When he opens the door, he sees that Anna is dressing up and is ready to go. Ivan realizes that Pao lied to him and knew that Anna was alive. That's why he gets into a fight with him, he tries to strangle him, then throws him down and kicks him hard. At the same time, Anna 
Anna appears behind Ivan and stabs him with scissors. Ivan falls to the ground. Pao comes forward with tears in his eyes to ask Anna why did she do this, but she does the same to Pao's stomach and Pao also falls to the ground. Then she sits down next to them with her bloodied face. And this is how Anna Fritz is saved.